The message is salvation is of the Lord. Salvation is of the Lord. Long before Adam and Eve sin against God. God have already declared salvation for sinners. The central truth of God's grace. This amazing grace is stated that the Lord is the salvation of every one of us. Friend, every aspect of salvation is by God alone. Only thing we contributed is our saint that led us Christ on the cross. So I say to you today, you ought to know, and you should know, that your good works will save you, your good enemy will save you, your goods will save you. Salvation is of the Lord alone. Jesus made it all on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago. Apostle Peter affirmed this when he wrote in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 13. For Christ also suffered one self for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, so that he might bring it to God. The reason why Jesus cried on the cross, that he might bring you, my friend, to God. Only through Jesus Christ that you can receive salvation. Amen. Salvation is not just alone. Amen. The Bible writes this today in Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Amen. There is no other name given yes. among men under heaven whereby you must be saved. The only name that can save you is the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, Romans chapter 10, verse 13. Anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord yes. shall be saved. Amen. If you want to be saved, you must go on that name alone. The name of Jesus Christ means salvation. Amen. Without Jesus Christ, you are not saved. If you want to be saved, you must call upon that name of Jesus Christ. God did it all for us. Salvation is not just alone. In Romans chapter 5, verse 10 stated, But God demonstrated this love for us in this way. When we are serious sinners, Christ died for us. I want you to know that when you live in a sin, Christ has died for your sin. Amen. Only to the blood of Jesus Christ that we can receive salvation. Only to the blood of Jesus Christ that we can receive forgiveness of sins. And that's why Jesus cried on the cross. That through that blood, she has done You receive the forgiveness of sins. There is no way your sin can be forgiven without the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And that's why I'm telling you to the friend. Salvation is of the Lord alone. There's nothing you can add. There's nothing you can subtract. If you want to be saved, you must come to Jesus for salvation. I said to you today, as the Bible said in Romans chapter 5, verse 1, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we are peace with God. To our Lord Jesus Christ. So you see, by the prayer of the cross, Jesus reconciled a sinful man to the God establish a peace treaty between man and God. God was in Jesus, reconciling the world to his son. If you want to be saved, you must come to Jesus and know no other man will save you, no mothers will save you. Only Jesus is the Savior of the world. If you don't know Jesus, I would like to know him today. I would like you to make a prayer like this. Lord, Lord, I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I'm a sinner. And I deserve hell. And I deserve hell. But I need your forgiveness of sin. But I need your forgiveness of sin. I believe that Jesus died for my sin. I believe that Jesus was there for my sin. On the cross of Calvary. On the cross of Calvary. And rose again on the third and day. And rose again on that day. Today. Today. I accept Lord Jesus. I accept Lord Jesus. As my Savior. As my Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For serving me. For serving me. I'm trusting you alone. I'm trusting you alone. To bring me to heaven. Bring you to heaven when I die, when I die, and I want you, and I want you to be all of my life, to be all of my life. I pray. In your name, I pray. Amen. 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 And I you, friend, when you make a prayer like this, Jesus Christ will save an eternity. Amen. And bless in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen.